The Digital Scene Show is sponsored by NewMediaWebinars.com. Free how-to webinars for digital media creators taught by industry professionals. Check us out at NewMediaWebinars.com. Siamak, welcome to the Digital Scene Show here at NAB 2010. Thank you. You are with IDT? That's correct. IDT and IDT Vision. We've been uh, making high-speed cameras for quite a while. Okay. Um, one of our cameras was uh, used three years ago in Hurt Locker. Show and us that again a little bit more. So that was the one that was sh that, was that used in the Hurt Locker during the high-speed uh, explosion? That the, is the, the camera that uh, is responsible for all the high-speed shots you see in the movie and a lot more that you don't see in the movie. And when you're saying high-speed, it's actually slow-mo shot at high-speed. Exactly. So um, maybe I explain to you the newer model of our camera, the H Diablo, that can shoot um, 720 frames at uh, 2K and 1,000 frames per second. Um, in full HD. When you uh, grab one second at a thousand frames, it gives you 33 seconds in real time when you watch it at 30 frames. So it slows things extremely down in a way that we wouldn't see it with a normal eye. Uh, Dori Aoun of, um, uh, in Lebanon and his company, they uh, are responsible for the shots in Hurt Locker. And I think they used it in a very um, enhancing way for their film and it really fits. They're in the amazing shots. I mean that just you know it gives you that feeling of that explosion and what's going to happen. It's just yeah. crazy. We call it tactile vision. It is yeah. kind of uh, uh, yeah they used it in a way that it wasn't just a gimmick. It really is. No it's part of the story. The story yeah yeah definitely. So. Now um, so you say it shoots um, a thousand frames at HD and 720 at uh, 2K. Yes. Now, where does it uh, store the video at? Uh, it has a RAM. Okay, so uh, built six, into the camera. Yeah, and the H Diablo has got a 16 gig RAM, which allows you to capture eight seconds of live action. Okay. That eight seconds you download uh, to a computer via e uh, Ethernet or USB. While you're download, that takes six minutes for the whole load. But the HDMI is going to be free, so you can set up your next shot and you have no downtime. Now, it's a built into the camera, or is it a, a card that you can pull out? No, it's built in, in the camera. So you're, during those six minutes, you're down, pretty much? Uh, you can set up the next shot, but you cannot record. Yeah, you cannot the record. The moment you want to record, you have to get rid of so, the last shot. And you're limited to eight seconds, so it's a very, very specialized camera, right? I mean, if you're shooting... Yes. But on the other hand, if you look at it, uh, eight seconds, uh, when you look at it, it's a long time and you would never use more than a second in the cut. So, right, 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 right. And a lot of uh, DPs like to use 300, 350 frames for beauty and uh, advertising, you know, all the water splashes and stuff. Right. That's around 300, 350. And, and what is the file stored as? What's the uh, file format? It is a uh, raw, proprietary raw file that okay. uh, you, can down, uh, you can convert to any format that you want on the fly. So once you're downloading it, you can download the raw file or down convert it to something else. Whatever now you you're downloading it with the uh, software that comes with yours? Yeah, Motion Studio is a proprietary software. We're developing currently a new interface I for see. the cinema. Will it transcode camera. for Final Cut Pro, let's say, into ProRes, or how does that work? Uh, well, you can you can uh, render on fly to um, several different formats. Like QuickTime. You have the QuickTime, AVI, and so on. I but see. What so I then I can take that file and then import it into Final Cut and transcode it to whatever I want. There are different workflows. Personally, I download to the uh, TIFF sequence oh, okay. and then in quick time I convert that to a ProRes for working oh. uh, as an intermediate and at the end uh, I go back to the TIFF sequence for color correction on, on uh, Pablo or right, 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 right. or whatever. Right. And what's the cost of this camera? 60,000 is for the HD Pablo. Uh, I mean maximum configuration is $60,000. Okay. And, uh, and what does that maximum configuration include? Uh, it is uh, with the new sensor and includes that you have the highest RAM and okay, uh, so the most RAM. wireless. We have an iPhone app that uh, allows you to control the camera wirelessly and uh, even trigger with it. Mm -hmm. We have smaller cameras. If you check our website, we have a whole array of different cameras. Um, the real um, the N series, which is uh, has the same sensor, only shorter recording times. 
we have the ruggedized one, which is uh, waterproof. You can right. throw it into a tank of water if you have a waterproof sure. lens. And uh, some other ones that we are, are developing for 3D because they're so small that they can right. make it nice. And if people want to find out more about it? Please go to idtvision.com. Okay. There we have a news section. Check out the news section. We have stories about uh, people using our camera, like Danny Boyle is using it right now uh, for 127. In Utah is shooting with two of our cameras. Georgia was just shot with our camera in the country of Georgia. It's an epic movie uh, with Checo Varese is the cinematographer, one of the best war photographers we have in this country. Fantastic. Siamic, excellent to meet you. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Thank you.